Hi, thanks for joining us today. I'm Christy Zabrowski and this is Cooking with Christy. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, make some roasted squash. This is a really nice easy dish. You can do it as a side or you can incorporate it into some other recipes, but it's nice seasonal this time of year. Squash is abundant and um, it's really, really hearty and delicious. So the first thing that I want to show you is how to cut up the squash. Um, it's a kind of a difficult vegetable to handle. So what I find the easiest thing to do is just to turn it on its side and cut off the top. And then I cut down to where the uh, bottom kind of starts to round out a little bit. And then I'll set that aside. And from here, you want to, if you're going to dice up the squash to roast it in little cubes, you'll want to remove the skin. Or if you want to skip that step, you can always just cut it down the center and then roast it with the flesh side down. But I'm going to show you how to easily remove the exterior. So we're just going to run our knife down along the side. And as you can see, you know, the squash is pretty hard, so it's important to make sure that you're working with a stable surface so that way the squash doesn't move around. So that's why I like to cut off both the top and the bottom before I do this to create that nice even surface. So then we're just cutting down along the side and there you go. You have all of that uh, exterior skin removed. Now from here you could slice it up into discs or if you wanted to cube it, just cut down the center. And I like to form three planks. And then from there, you can cut it into nice cubes. And we'll toss these aside. Now you could do this with um, any kind of squash, really. And I'm just choosing to use butternut squash. You can stop by the Canton Farmer's Market to get some produce from our vendors. Uh, like Perrins and Prohaska. They're both local and you can speak with them about how they grow their produce so that way you can have a little bit more knowledge of the food that you're eating and how it's been produced. So from here, I'm just going to put it on this uh, sheet tray that I have lined with a silpat. And I like to do that because um, that way you don't ruin your nice, uh, beautiful, clean baking sheet. And then I'm going to take a little bit of olive oil um, from Stamatopoulos. And you can also get this oil at the Canton Farmer's Market. They're based out of Ann Arbor and they're a vendor here at the Canton Farmer's Market. So what I like to do is just drizzle that on top. And then from here, you can season it however you'd like, whether you want it to be a little bit more savory and just uh, sprinkling on a little bit of sea salt and fresh cracked pepper. You could throw in a little bit of fresh thyme. Thyme is a beautiful aromatic herb to throw into roasted dishes. Or if you wanted to sweeten it up a little bit, you could get some uh, local raw honey from Boblin, who is another vendor of ours. Um, and then from here, just kind of toss it together with your hands. And we'll put this into the oven at 425 degrees and bake it for about 20, 25 minutes or so. It will really just depend on the size of the squash and the type of the squash that you have. So after about 15 to 20 minutes, you want to start checking on it. And afterwards, when you take out your roasted squash, you're going to have this beautiful, nicely caramelized squash that's delicious on its own, or you can use it as another ingredient in a bigger recipe. Thanks for joining us. That was the roasted butternut squash recipe.